So it's just about feeding time for Neeson. Um, so I thought I'd talk about what guide dogs eat. Um, obviously they are dogs, so they eat dog food. Now, <laughs> good one, eh? Um, anyway, so these guys, obviously they are not typical pet dogs. Um, they have a job to do and um, along with that um, comes the, the need to keep them in tip top shape. They are, um, in order for them to perform to the best of their ability, they need to be fueled properly. Um, so I try my best to give my dog everything he needs. Um, and I'm just gonna talk about a little bit of, uh, a little bit about Neeson's diet. Um, I've just actually changed his food or in the process of changing his food. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how I'm introducing him to his new food. So typically, <clears throat> um, guide dog schools feed their dogs while they're in training good food. Um, really, really good dog food is expensive. And when you have over 100 dogs, sometimes over 200 dogs on campus to, to look after, it can, get, it can get really expensive to feed a high, high, high caliber diet. Um, often guide dog schools have relationships in place with pet food distributors. Um, they get a deal if they buy in bulk. So when your dog is at, at guide dog school, they will get, uh, they will be fed a good diet. Not a bad diet, not a great diet, a good diet. Um, when you get your dog home, you have the option of keeping them on the same food or um, changing the food based on your, I guess your financial situation um, would play a factor into that. Also, your knowledge of the pet food industry would also play a factor into that. Um, so for the last 20 years, so I'm on my third dog, Neeson's number three, all from God Dogs for the Blind in San Rafael, California. Um, so for the past 20 years, my dogs have been on Royal Cannon Labrador Health Formula. Um, a very good dog food. Um, Royal Cannon has been around for a long time. Uh, they make good stuff. They, they really do. I have no complaints with the food that my guys have been on. It has worked really well for them. Uh, my first dog, Luther, I had to put him down. He developed Cushing's disease, um, unfortunately. So I put him down when he was 10 and a half. Uh, my second dog, Lars, lived to almost 15. Uh, Neeson is five right now. So um, if you feed your dog properly and if, if, if you take away the uncontrollables like disease uh, stuff out of your control these guys can live a long time you look after them they look after you boom <laughs> so anyway yeah so Royal Cannon Labrador uh, health formula um, so recently though I was doing some some thinking and I'm like well it's been 20 years of the same food um, yes it works really really well for my dogs but over the last 20 years, obviously, there's been a lot of advancements in the pet food industry, as, as there has in every industry. Um, so I got to thinking and doing some research, and I have decided to switch Neeson over to a new food. Now, I'm not going to go into the ingredients, anything like that. Maybe I will in, in another video if you guys want to see that. Um, I'm switching him to a... So the company is called Wellness. Uh, they are based in the United States. Uh, they source all their ingredients from the United States. All their production is in the United States. And the uh, type of food that he is on is complete. Uh, wellness complete white um, fish and sweet potato. It's a very, very high high nutrient dense food lots of good stuff in there and again if you guys want to see uh, a video where I talk about the ingredient list and all that fun stuff I'll be happy to make it uh, just let, let me know down below um, so Neeson do you want to try your new food okay come on so I still have a little bit of 
Neeson's old food left. So the rule of thumb, you never just switch straight away. You always um, want to do a gradual switch because if you don't, you're likely to have a dog with an upset tummy. So they recommend the 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 uh, wellness recommends that you take a full seven days to switch your dog over and just every meal you just add a little bit more wellness and a little bit less of the old stuff. I'm not going to take seven days because I think that's too long. A random backpack lying in the middle of the floor here. So. When I feed my dogs, I always just hand feed them. I've never used a cup or a, a measuring tool of any kind. I, I just use handfuls and I just feel the food when it's in the bowl. And that helps me determine how much is in there. And it also changes depending on Neeson's activity level. If he's had a big day, I'll feed him more. Neeson, sit, stay. Then I would feed him if he had a, a, a rest day or like a, a quieter day. Um, so this is the first day that I'm actually introducing him to his new food. So I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go, I'm going to try to aim for like a 75% raw cannon, 25% of the new stuff. And we'll go from there. So this is the raw cannon bag. I don't know if I'm holding it the right way or not. <laughs> I'll show you both sides. I think one side is French and one side is English. Sorry for the noise, and you'll see Neeson's just sitting here being very well behaved. So this here is about 75% of what I would feed him. Um, so now I'm just gonna add, this is the wellness bag. I, again, I'm sorry if I'm holding it up the uh, wrong way around. So we're going to add A relatively small handful of this like that close this over one thing I do I sometimes give me some sardines too um, I don't have any right now so he I, I give him a sardine with his dinner really good for the coat and omega-3 fatty acids um, it kind of makes your house smell though so you have to be okay with a fish smelling house <laughs> So the last thing I do before I give this to him is put some hot water, just a little bit of lukewarm water, makes it more palatable. Okay. Labradors eat anything, so it's hard to tell if he likes this or not, but um, I assume he does. <laughs> so wellness um, is one of the top five dog foods listed on the, uh, the 2021 uh, dog food review website, um, where they, they basically review a bunch of dry dog food. They get a lot of input from uh, vets and experts in the field. And so that kind of caught my eye initially, and it's fairly expensive too, which is an, another giveaway that it's actually probably a high quality food. Um, so yeah, well, the kibble sizes, I'll show you the kibble sizes because there is a difference with the kibble. So the one thing I liked about the raw cannon Let me get a kibble from here so I can do a hand in hand comparison for you guys. So, so, okay, so the kibble, so this is a raw cannon kibble. Um, it's like a mini donut, and this is actually, this is intentional. Get out of here. 
this is intentional. This is to slow lab them down from eating so quickly. Mix them crunch, mix them chew. And here you have the the kibble, the uh, wellness kibble. It's very small. It's like a little. Uh, kind of feels like um, yeah. It's got like four. Uh, kind of feels like a little dice in a little way, but you can see how small it is. Yeah. So that's something we'll have to get used to. But the water that I put on his food also slows him down as well. So. Um, I'm not too worried about how fast he eats. He's 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 not a really really fast eater anyway. So, but labs typically are. So anyway, uh, yeah. So I'll uh, if you guys want to see an ingredient uh, deep dive review, I'm happy to do that. I know a lot about this kind of stuff. I, I took uh, pet nutrition in college years ago, um, so I'd be happy to, to do a video like that. It's all gone, Mister. See you guys next time. Cheers.